everybody it's time to shop my stash again I'm late with it so we're gonna start off with last month's tray that I've been using up to now and it's looking kind of hectic isn't it this is real life this is what happens when you use your makeup tray things get deleted things get added it gets junky so here we go let's put everything back and I'll tell you what I think of them as I put them back so I'm going to pull open the first drawer and get you situated. Okay, let's put everything away and I'll tell you what I think of them. I had out a concealer. This is from Dior. I have it in 5N. It works quite well, but I like it better all over the face. Not so much under my eyes because it's a little deeper than I'd like it to be. I had the Hourglass. This is the Veil Mineral, Mineral Primer. Has SPF of 15. Works well on um, priming my face, doesn't cause oiliness or the oils to break through. It just helps and I like it for that. Eye base, I use the NARS and I like this shade. It works well for me also. Anything else? I still have the Fenty in here so we won't bother with it. I have uh, anything else to be a primer wise. That's here. I think that's it unless I pull the Dior from this drawer which I can't be certain I did or not this is a powder I don't think so so let's go to the next drawer okay here I did pull the Dior foundation powder I really like this um, it's a little soft and creamy for powder but I do like it it's a powder foundation actually I think it goes in this drawer I could be wrong, but I'm putting it up there. I don't know where I had it. This drawer is where I had my powders and what did I pull? And bronzers. So Charlotte Tilbury bronzer, we all like it. We know about it. It works. It does its job. I'm going to put it right here. If I can get it in. And I had another, I had a cream bronzer from Fenty. I did not use this at all. Let's put that back. Maybe I did. I did use it once or twice. I just didn't pull it enough. And then I had Fenty's um, Cashew Loose Powder, the Pro Filter Powder. So I'll put that back. I really like it. It's loose powder. It goes over here. What am I doing? And let's see, is that it as far as powders? We think so. We think so. Next drawer. Alrighty, here I have mascaras for sure. And one set, I pulled out the Dior set, but I had a problem. My eyes got, I think I had a blocked tear duct. So I didn't want to continue using this because I think I, my eye was infected. So I put this down and started using something else so I'm going to declutter both of these because they are contaminated I pulled in afterwards what did I pull in? I pulled in the Gucci this is a sample size mascara from Gucci in jet black I think or eye black it's called number one and I pulled in another mascara the Lancome mascara here Lancome Deficil. So I'm going to keep this in. And I had some eyeliners. Lots of them, right? So I had the Laura Geller eyeliners, the new one I purchased that I like to keep in there. It's not the same formula, I don't think, or it's just so new that it's different to me. So anyway, I'm going to put these back for now, even my favorite for now. And, uh, probably pull something else let's see I also pulled which I enjoyed using were these Trish McAvoy eyeshadow and eyeliner pencils these are superb I've had them so long yet they work so well they were scrumptious and easy to use I enjoyed using them 
this one and I can't find them online anymore I can't see the name I'll have to plug it in later but there you go with both of those aren't they goes that's probably aren't they great this is probably the rose one and this one is probably the bronze I'm thinking but I looked online to see if I could find other colors and I cannot so those are neat I would love to keep them in because I like them so much um, I think that's it from here did have some nope I didn't I was gonna say I had some brow products to go in here but I'm going to return the Charlotte Tilbury palette here I did use it for this color and this color alone I didn't get into the blue but it is a pretty bronzy color so that's going back and uh, did I pull anything else out of here? Yes, I did. I had this, the um, Pat McGrath palettes, so they have to go back. Ooh, that's an ordeal. We'll just do that later. <laughs> Might go on back there now. Okay, and now I'm into the lippy drawer here. These are some samples of Dior Lip Glow and Dior Attic Lip Maximizer. The drawer is looking kind of crazy. But I have some Pat McGrath to put back, some lip gloss. I wore these and I found her lipstick and I wore all of those. Enjoyed them immensely. I had Tom Ford I used as of yesterday and over the weekend when I went away, or a weekday, I went away during the week, but it felt like a weekend. I used those. Oh gosh, I forgot about this, the NARS. Um, stick that back here. I, this is a um, concealer which I enjoyed using Put that back. Oh, any more lippies? I had the Morphe Date Night lip liner pencil out. That was fine. I had Pat McGrath's lip liner pencil out. Both of those are pretty much alike. Those were fine. And I have to put back the Pat McGrath. This is the um, Bridgerton blush and highlighter set here. So I really liked it. I used all the colors, used the highlighter. This is nice and silky feeling. So I do have to put back the Charlotte Tilbury uh, eyeliner. I forgot to put that back. I think it was up here. And I do have this that ended up in my purse. This is from Mac. I think it's, I don't even know the number anyway, anymore, but it ends up in my purse. So I'm going to throw that back in the tray for now. So that's everything I used from last month into this month, along with my uh, panning project items. I did throw in a um, Mac Fix It or Fix Plus and I used the, because my skin was a little dry in patches, I used the Pixie. This is the Glow Mist Finishing Spray. So I did throw those in and I'm going to leave those in for now. I did for my brows use Kat Von D. I think I'm going to put that back. And um, I had the Benefit in here as well. Wasn't too happy with it. Let me show it to you again. So I'm going to put the Cabal back. Uh, I had uh, two brow gels here. One from Juvia's Place which is Tinted and the other one is Billion Dollar Brows which is just a clear. I'm going to leave those in and uh, yeah everything else stays in my tray so let's get busy shopping for the rest of June. I did forget to mention that I had the YSL Top Secrets Instant Matte Pore Refiner matte primer in my tray. I didn't see it today and I didn't see it all last month so I did not use it. And I did add in the Wanda Beauty brow pencil. Uh, I did that during the Asian persuasion look I did or the Asian AAPI or Islander Pacific? Pacific Islanders uh, look. So I had the Wanda Beauty brow pencil in and then while I was away I picked up this little wet and wild wild uh, ultra brow micro brow pencil in 
dark brown I think I have it in. So I'm going to leave both of those brow pencils in with the brow works. The mascara, they all can go in the same section. I think I'm going to leave the YSL in and try to use it because I did not use it the last time. So let's shop my stash from this side of the room. So let's get busy. Okay, so I'm in the top drawer here where, I, where there are brow products, eye primers, and face primers. And I'm shopping my stash from the other set of Alex drawers over here. So face primer, eye primers. Let's do that first. I already have Fenty there, but I like to pull another one just to play around with some other ones. So let's go in with Smash box the photo finish smooth and blur primer for the eyes so we already have the NYX glitter primer that stays there and the Fenty has been hanging tight up here in my tray and you can see it's practically done I'm getting there for face primer in addition to the YSL which I did not use last month at all do I need to pull in one or just work on it Let's just work on it because it is a matte and it is a pore refiner. I have textured skin, mature skin, acne prone skin, some dry spots now, as well as plenty of oil filling in the pores on a daily basis. So I'm going to try that. Let's get down to the next drawer. Here's my face powders here. I have some compact or pressed ones and I have loose. Quite a bit of loose powders going on here. What are we going to use? I have the one sides. I think that was out not that long ago. Oh, and so was the bear. The Huda was out. Let's try the Minted. Let's see. This is medium deep loose setting powder. Let's go for that as a loose powder. And let's go for NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop. This is a uh, pressed powder. Mattifying powder too, so that's good. Okay, we're in the concealer drawer, and what do I want to use? We have NYX and we have Minted as our powders. I don't think I have a Minted concealer but I want something brightening under my eyes and something a little deeper for the rest of the face. And uh, I think I had these out not too long ago, but here's, looking at you, babe, I'm gonna pull out the NYX Born to Glow Trio because I think I have everything I need right in this set here. There's a light, a medium, and a deep, I believe. So that's gonna be it from that drawer. Foundations, foundations, foundations. I played with the tart on my trip. I didn't take the full size. I think I took the mini one I have here. Had the Kinlo out for that video, AAPI, Islander Pacific, Pacific Islanders. Um, I'm thinking I should go with this tart, the Amazonian clay. Should I? I don't want the Born to Glow. Here is the Ordinary. Let's pull the Ordinary. The Ordinary is... I think it'll work. Yeah, I think it'll work. But also, let's pull the... Let's pull the... Oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I need more coverage right now. Let's pull Clinique Stay Matte Oil Free Makeup. Definitely need something like that. And let's put the Ordinary back. And then, do I want a powder? Not now. I'll just stay with that. Okay, highlight, highlight, glowing. Get that skin glowing and oh boy, what do I want? Do I want something like Clinique? Black Panther. Let's take a look at the Black Panther. Can't get it open. 
Ooh, gorgeous. Nice for summer. Let's pull that. Don't need too many because I don't have much time to use it all. Don't want cream. What about Lorella? Ooh, that's a little lighter. Let's use that too. I am going to be beaming. That's good. In this drawer, I think I'm going to concentrate on bronzers. Because there's highlighter compacts in here and, you know, face palettes and bronzers. This is relatively, this is new to me. I haven't had it long. I haven't used it. This is the TLB Stunning. Stunting. This is a, one, a minute finish face palette. I have uh, for the face, Young Stunner, Blush, Sheer Bling Bling, Contour, Flossing, and Highlight, So Icy. Ooh, maybe we should pull this and put back. Let's leave it all in there. And do I want another bronzer in case that one doesn't work out for me? Yes, let's go with uh, Natasha Denona. This is a perfect one for me. Contour Sculpting Powder. Gotta have a good bronzer, con oh, bronzer or contour for me. I love a good contour, so. I'm all about the contour life. Get this in here somehow. Where this blush looks a little orangey or spicy, I want to pull another blush that isn't so spicy. I love this color for summer and fall, but I do want to add a blush. I do have a new blush from uh, Tarte. I got it off QVC. It came with a brush. It's the uh, Juicy Blush by Tarte, of course. And what is that, Mara? Coolja? I couldn't get that out. It's in Honeysuckle. So we're going to pull this one, I think, if it's any different from the previous one. Oh my gosh, it's a cream blush and it's quite different. Yes, so we're gonna pull it. And uh, I've used that one. I don't think I need another one right now. I do have a new one in that I will probably focus in on later. Out of this eyeshadow palette drawer, I went ahead and pulled Natasha Denona's palette here. This one is Mini Tropic Palette. I'm thinking vacation time. Summer's coming in. People are going away to the beach. Everything like that. Thinking water, ocean vibes like that. Also, I pulled from Viseart. I pulled the Sol La Plage, Plage Palette. Thinking again about summer. Everyone headed to the beach. So, holiday time. So, I pulled these two. And that's all I think I'm going to pull as far as palettes. I only have a couple of more weeks left in the month. Eat, at least from that drawer, so we'll see. I yep. do have this drawer that we could uh, kind of uh, thumb through and see if there's anything else I need as far as eyeshadow palettes. Ooh, a lot of Lorella over here. Was there one I wanted to pick? drawer is stuck. So much stuff in it. There's palettes all back there. Juvia's place that I can't get to. What is this? Oh, that's the, the no. Huda Beauty palette. Oh, let's do this. Lorella Fest. This came in and I didn't do an unboxing with you guys. This was April's palette from Lorella. So let's take a look at it. It's a double-sided palette. I filmed it, but I didn't do anything about it, so I didn't upload it. So here we go. Fun festival colors. This part comes out. Thinking getaway to the amusement parks. You know, start a fun time with the weather being nice. So here is the other side. Yay! Let's do this. Because I want to pull in the lip Glow Oil from Dior. I have this in Cherry. I did not share this with you, but I got it in last month. And I did film it, but I didn't upload it. It was a unboxing from Dior that I didn't upload. 
but this is the Dior Lip Glow Oil and I have it in cherry so I'm pulling it. I'm also going to pull, got another one in I think. I got in, well, no I'm going to leave that there. I got in these uh, sample cards of um, Dior Lip Glow. So these are pretty cool. I have several to try out here. This is the right, right way up. So I have a clear, I have a pink, rosewood, and mahogany. The mahogany is one I'm really interested in trying. So I'm going to pull that. And then I have this contraption here. <laughs> Dior Attic Lip Maximizer. Look at that pretty one there. It's a lavender. I'm dying to try that. So these, I think I have another Dior I wanted to pull. Hold on. I think I showed you this one. So I'm pulling this, the Lip Glow Color, what is that? Color Balm, I guess. And it's a pink. It's nothing special. It's just something to put on your lips as a base or just a standalone when you don't want much on your lips. So that's going to be it. And by the way, guys, I am still in my PJs. That's why I'm looking ragged there with my sleeve. Um, got that in. I didn't film that. Do I need a pencil from here? I don't know. Do I need a pencil from here? Oh, this pencil. I am going to pull it. This is from a lovely friend who heard me say that I couldn't find the Sephora lip liner in molasses. And didn't you know, she went out and she picked one up for me. Friend mail. I was supposed to unwrap that. I think this is it. No, that's not it. Let me find it. Hold on. Okay. Guys, I'm bad. I forgot to film this. That would have been in my Beauty Room Chronicles. So I didn't film it. It's a gift from Rachel. This is the one. She sent me this lovely, she knows I love these infallible lip. Oh, I'm going to pull all of these. So two infallible she sent me. And she sent me the molasses, the Sephora molasses lip liner. So we're pulling all three of these products that she sent me plus this other do I need a plum yeah I'm gonna pull the plum lip liner from Sephora yay guys I'm done I'll put everything together and you'll see what I pulled for the remainder of June probably just saying might carry this into July <laughs> since I'm so behind Okay, so here's my tray all set up. It was an easy one to do this time. I'm going to start with the lippies that my friend Rachel from Home Life Love sent me. The first one is in 628 Les Macaroons. Ooh, it's so pretty and summery. Oh, gorgeous color. I love a good pink. And that's what this is. Gorgeous. Never mind those swatches. <laughs> those are from earlier. This is 370. And by the way, these are L'Oreal infallibles. And this is 370. And I can't, let me get my magnification glass because I can't see the name. It is Rose Blood. Another good one. I love a deep, intense, oh, plummy color. <gasps> she knows I like this. She watches this channel and she really watches it well. Because look at that. Look at that color. Doesn't it remind you, excuse me from walking away from the camera, but doesn't it remind you of, oh my goodness, from Dior? Doesn't it remind you of that shade there? Oh my gosh. Look at that. That's a dupe. And remember, I have the nail polish to go along with it. Oh, thank you, Rachel. Oh, you're my girl. Thank you. Again, I walked away from the camera. Oh, look at those. Stunning. And I've got to show you the two pencils. The one she got me was molasses. It's so creamy. 
or where we're going to put it. Right here. Are you ready for this? Look at that. Barely have to touch it. Look at that. Ooh, so creamy, so nice. From Sephora. And also the one I picked up because I couldn't find molasses at the time. I picked up this one that goes, I think, so well with these plummy looks. Let's put it right here. It almost looks like molasses, but it's a little plummy. Oh my gosh. Those pencils are so nice. So happy to have the molasses one in my collection now. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Rachel, because I even looked when I was away in Fredericksburg. They didn't have it at their Sephora either. So you know I pull uh, Lorella. This is a highlighter. I pull Black Panther. I think I have too many up here, but we'll leave them in because I also have this TLB face palette with highlighters, bronzers, and a cheek color in there. But I also pulled Natasha Denona's. This is the contour palette. I love a good contour. And I'm glad that she is into contour too. Everybody does blush, uh, bronzers, but you hardly find contours. So I got this Tarte Creamy Blush. I don't know why I got a creamy blush because they're not my faves. But it'll go nicely with these um, lippies, won't it? I like to have my lippies and blush coordinate so this is nice and then as you know I pulled these eyeshadow palettes which you saw the sample lippies all of these um, concealers here to work with kept in the brow products and the lash products kept in the primer and I added Clinique stay matte and then I added the NYX this is the professional can't stop won't stop powder that I can also use as a foundation powder if I like and then that is my um, compact powder and this is the loose powder from minted I have it in medium deep so it has a tint to it so that's it I'm leaving in these um, face um, sprays they are finishing sprays so that's it for the month or the remainder of June really happy excited because I almost forgot to pull this from Lorella it screams summertime festival time going to the amusement park these two palettes to me scream beach ready you know something you want to get away on Memorial Day which we just had but into summer into you know fun times at the beach and the pool since they're open now because I wouldn't be dipping into the pools much I'd just be out there having fun at a evening pool party <laughs> you know that's my vibe as far as the pool goes these days I was doing water aerobics but not anymore so any time I go to a pool at this point it'll be for an evening pools party where I'm sipping on some nice non-alcoholic drinks and laying out on the deck chair with my eye makeup on. Oops, dropped one. Okay, guys, that's it for June's Shop My Stash. I had a blast, blast pulling these uh, products. Didn't know what I was pulling at all. Didn't have a slightest idea what I was pulling, but just went with the flow. So if you like what I've pulled, let me know down below. Give this video a thumbs up. If you have any of these items and you'll be you know, using them during this month, let me know. And uh, stay well. I love you for watching. And remember, a smile is your best accessory. See you next time. Look at those swatches. Ooh, so nice. Bye-bye. <laughs>